All right, Victoria's Secret has hired their first openly transgender model. Valentina Sampaio, she posted this photo of herself announcing the new gig. Now, uh, if you don't, first of all, we don't know what someone else wasn't transgender. Let's be honest, this is the first open transgender. But Victoria's Secret has been the brand that is not very much interested in including people who are heavier or transgender or vitiligo. It took a while for people to start doing that. My friend started Third Love and they called out Victoria's Secret for that in a New York Times page. And they said, you know, it doesn't matter, we're their first love. And Third Love said, we'll be their last love. And they show people with mastectomies and C-section scars and wide bands so it gets bigger and bigger. At this point, is Victoria's Secret outdated completely? And is this a desperate Hail Mary? I, I think so. I think I'm too little too late because remember last year, their chief marketing officer had said that Victoria's Secret doesn't market to the world. They didn't want transgender women to walk in their fashion shows. So I look at this as something where it's like, hey, we're losing money. We got to figure out a way to appeal to the masses. So if you're going to do this, if you really care about transgender people and their rights, then make sure that you take some of those proceeds and you donate to charity, transgender charities and, uh, and, and help helplines so you can help these kids that are getting bullied and even killed. Or does it matter, right? So it's a business. They're going to do it for money. Maybe that's okay, even though there's now representation. Right. And I agree with you guys. I'm just going to take the other side Please. for argument's Please. sakes. Isn't it their right to market to whoever they yes. want yeah, to market to? I don't to? even think that's the other side. I think that they're a business and they can run their business how they choose to right and when you decide like if you have a business you say I don't choose it's just like if you have a hamburger shop and I'm like Jeff you have no vegetarian or vegan options what are you doing here and you're like this is Jeff's burger shop right if you want something else and then I open Al's burger shop that's got plant-based burgers, burgers and vegan you isn't um uh, can I say personal to some women, right? I would feels, say being a vegan isn't personal to Sam is, Shocker. It is, but when you say I'm not including people in your... That is their decision as a right. company. Well, I, well, it's, boy, it's, I, don't, I don't, I can't agree with you with, on that one, man. Talk because to me. Look at it, look at it. Let's say it, it was something when it comes to black people, right? And, mm -hmm. and now, like, like Hollywood. Hollywood wants to do Black Panther and they want to do all these black movies. But wouldn't you rather them double down in terms of Victoria's Secret and be like, you know what? Our brand is our brand. We're not going to sell to transgenders. We're not going to sell to people with a red foot. Wouldn't you rather that than, no, nah, go ahead, let me just take your money. I'll go home and talk stuff about you. See, my only so issue with that, Brandon, is we. I feel like we have to give people a re-entry into society. If you say something stupid, we are all going to say something stupid because we won't be on the air for a long time. Yeah. We're all going to say something stupid. If, if somebody goes, Jeff, you said that I'm done with you forever, well then what's the point of ever doing this again? We have to give Victoria's Secret a chance to make, make a statement that we all kind of condemn and they go back and kind of talk about it and be like, that was kind of, that's a little embarrassing. And when they come back and try and fix it, we've now given the, and then the next person that says something that's, that's untoward, they don't feel like they're going to be an outcast from society. They feel like if you fix it and I come back and say, I'm sorry, hat in hand, can we do this again? Yeah. I, I just, I'm all for giving people a path I, back. I, I agree, but I kind of agree with Brandon in that if you are a brand, you can't just suddenly be like, we're not going to have transgender. Now we are. At some point, shouldn't you have said, we've rethought but isn't, it But isn't that what you want? Yeah. Yes, yes. Do you want it to I take want 20 years? No, but I would like them to acknowledge that the last year they said they wouldn't. So what made them change would be a really nice transparent New moment. information came in. Maybe as in that. our bottom, maybe we're getting our butt kicked. Maybe, maybe say that. Someone at the top was like, you know what? I, looking back, I was really ignorant about this. I didn't know anything about trans rights till I said this stupid right. thing. Now I do. I'm an idiot. But as a I'm woman have... who has big boobs that's going to go to Victoria's Secret, I'd rather hear we have new management. I would much rather go after hearing that than, yeah, now we're going to have them. Uh, you know, I know, it's I, know I get what you're saying, but it's like when someone apologizes for something, it's you're true. like, I didn't like the tone of his apology. Right, it's it's like, still an apology. Yeah, like so they're doing the right thing, which I think is great for them. I, th I like I said, I agree with you guys yeah. just for the other thing. But they could market to whoever they want. They you're don't right. want to be the if they don't want to be the leader in it that industry, then keep it you know minimalized to who you're marketing to. Yeah. If you want to go with everything, then you're the leader. But then you have to be conformative to other people, transgender and things and like that. Else. Yeah.